using to make it kind of like, you know, like kind of like sakes up violence. Uh, and I really abhor that because I think you know, this is a true story. It's real people, real life, real victims. Um, and so I think for me, you know, anytime you were drawn into anything that you were like, oh, that's going to get kind of like racy, I just brought it back and I was like, oh no, what, what really happened? What was the true story here? What were the true events? And I was so lucky that I had access to the real Amy, to Charles Graver, the writer, the boss. So I was really, really fortunate to have you know, those resources. When did you know that you would write about the Secret Chest in this world? Yeah, so I, I actually started writing this 10 years ago. This was my first job. Um, and I brought it a lot over those 10 years because it's a project that I just love to care about. Um, and I think when Tobias came on board, we really started talking about Cast and his, um, his talk, obviously, big was Jessica. And, you know, as a writer, it's fantastic because you know you can throw anything at her, she can act it. Uh, she brings such a level of humanity, but also strength, a kind of weakness, a, a, a grace, and a fearlessness. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's an absolute joy working with her. And working with her. There is something very interesting about the relationship. Obviously, I haven't seen the movie yet, but it's a promise. This, this incredible relationship between, between those two. Um, how do you? Create that paper. I mean, it's, not, it's not that easy to find. It. Was it from the testimonies you have from Amy and, uh, and all the documentation you have and material? How did you recreate those 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 uh, encounters? Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know that's something that you probably send the most amount of time on in the script. It's just really understanding how these characters connect with each other. Um, I spent a lot of time doing a lot of recaps, uh, and I was really lucky to have you know have Amy and ask her and, and pull her up and be like, what was, you know, was this day like? Um, and you remember, and, and having you know the insider scoop on that I meant I never had to invent stuff, which was really important to me in this because, like I said, it's you know it's real people's real lives, and you have a duty to do that truthfully and well. Um, so yeah, just loads of rewrites, um, really smart notes from producers, uh, and a great director, and then you're off to the races. <laughs> well, last question: What do you expect the, the audience to, to to take away from this from the story? I mean, to me, the thing about this is, you know, superheroes nowadays are they're billionaires in, in Batman outfits, they're <laughs> Iron Man, they're super soldiers, they're all this kind of stuff that's completely unreachable. So I'm never going to be bit by a radioactive spider, and if I am, they'll kill me. Um, but people like Amy are superheroes. She risked everything. She risked her life. She risked her livelihood. She did everything to save people that weren't her problem. Uh, and so to me, I hope the audience leave knowing that there are real superheroes out there and that you can try and be one. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, thank you. Hey, Hi. Christy. Hey, how's it going? I'm great. I've only got one question for you because I know you got to go. So first, congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Um, welcome back to TIFF. Thank you. I love it here. So with this film and just having the opportunity to tackle such a very serious yeah. but real person, yeah. um, what did that mean for you? Because I believe, honestly, things happen for a reason. So it's kind of like you had the opportunity of adapting this story in a very intimate way. Yeah. But how did it mean for you? I mean, to me, you know, first of all, you've got such a responsibility to tell this story. Uh, responsibility to the families and to people involved. And you know what? Amy is a friend of mine. I spent a lot of time with her and over the years have, like, really been amazed and awed by her. So it was, it was a real pleasure. Um, it was very difficult. Uh, it was a chance to work with some amazing people, but ultimately, it was it was the chance to tell a story about a real superhero who was a working class single mom, uh, and my mom's a working class single mom. Like, so what it's more like, can you do? Yeah, right. and that's that's the dream. That's all you want to write as a writer. Yeah, hopefully everybody loves it. So. Congratulations! Thank, Thank you so much. No. Take care.